Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazaeus from The Automator, where we teach you desktop automation. Don't forget to subscribe because we release great videos twice a week. Uh, this video, I'm sure, like me and you, we've all been there where we go to launch a program or we go look for it and it's no longer on the screen. It's off the screen. We can't find it. It's gone for whatever reason, or you're helping someone on a remote computer. We're going to show you how to get it back. Code super simple. Um, let's That's jump into right. it. And it, it happens to us very often. It just happened to me that I opened a program and it was on my second monitor. I don't want it there. I wanted a first monitor. So we developed a little bit of a script and this is what it looks like in V1, that it is a hotkey that just captures the current position of the mouse and then just moves the active window into where the mouse position is at. So let's go ahead and see it in action. Very simply, you just run this. If I move this window, and move my mouse here, and I hit my hotkey, it just moves it there. It's very simple. Uh, it, this is one of the cool things about auto hotkey is, it's just two lines of code, basically, because this is the hotkey, this is the return, and we just moved it there. Even if I put it on a different monitor and move it here, it brings it on. And remember, it is acting on the active window. So if I just make another window active, so if it is on my second monitor, I just click on it, move my mouse where I want it, and just hit the hotkey, it would go there. So now, in yeah. this case, though, let's make sure they understand it. If you move this to the other window, right, and, and that window either no longer exists or it's off or something, on your taskbar, you can activate the window there, right? You right. Can click I can just there. click there, and right. it is active now, and I can just move that over, right? So even if I cannot click on it, because sometimes it just happens that the window, it happens, you know, what happens, uh, which window happens to do that? The uh, Zoom window. So Zoom, I have it in two monitors, right? So I have the main monitor that is my whatever. If I share my screen, it's displayed there. If you, Joe, shared your screen, it gets there. When you stop sharing, that window moves off screen somewhere that I cannot access. It's something annoying that happens a lot of time. And what I do is control space M to move and then move the mouse with it. So that's something that I do very often. I move it a little bit and then with, it follows my mouse. That's how I bring back that zoom window. With this script, I don't have to do that. I just well, you click can do on it this the Or zoom. you could alt tab as well, right? You can right, alt -tab. exactly. You can, can you alt tab to it, right? Exactly. So I just oh. alt tab to it. And then when I do uh, Shift M, it brings that one window awesome. here, right? So it works with any window. It's cool, fine. But then you were saying, "Hey, we should convert this to V2." And 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 you said, "Probably it's a longer code." And I said, "Not really. Actually, it could even be a shorter code." I will show you in a second. One thing to keep in mind with this code is that we're using the coordinate mode here. And we're setting the mouse mode to the screen. The reason for this is that by default, the coordinate system, the reference that we use for the coordinate system by default is the active window or the client window, right? Uh, so whatever you have selected, the mouse position, the X and Y position relates to that window. And sometimes we don't want that. So I make sure that the mouse coordinates is set to the screen so that zero, zero, means the top left corner of my screen. That's the first thing. Then we get the position of the mouse and then we move the active window to that location. V2 code is very similar. So this is the V2 code. For those wondering oh, how, how different is V2 from V1, it's almost the same. The only difference is that now the words mouse and screen are actually text screen, so they should be Quoted, and I'm using single quotes for for because I'm used to it, but it could be double quotes, is the same thing. And here on my hotkey, now I have to add brackets, the curly braces, and I don't have to specify the word return anymore. So the amount of code is basically the same. The second thing is that the mouse get positions, we have to use the ampersands here to set the X and Y positions of the mouse. And then when I move it, the active window instead of being the first parameter is the what fifth parameter so the first is the x and y width and height and then the active window that you're referring to so a little bit of changes but the code is very similar 
the funny thing about this is that I could just go ahead and let's just test it out. Let's just go ahead and close the live code, run it in V2, run that. And if I do this, it should work just the same. So the code is the same, but I could, in theory, just go ahead and put this in one line. For that, I'm going to make these function calls because everything is an expression. So in an expression, the call that I'm making is a function. And I want it as a function because I want to put a comma there. So this comma, I want to make sure that it's not confused with a parameter from the mouse get position. That's what that, that's why I'm using the parentheses there. And then I'm going to call the second function here. And again, as I'm using an expression here, I just want to use the parentheses there. So now I just converted that instead of using four lines to do this, I can make it in one line like this. And basically it should just work the same. So if I run this and I move this and I hit control shift M, it works just fine. So this is something that we just added it to one of our scripts. We have a Windows spy tool that is a little bit simplified. And one of the things that we added was this because I'm working with somebody on their computer and they have multiple monitors. I just want to make sure that I have access to the, win the windows that we create. And if we create a window and it's in a different monitor, then I want to move it to where we work. So I think this is a very interesting concept. It's not that hard to do in AutoHotKey. No, it's crazy easy. And I, I love that point about that you can condense it down in one line because it's one of the things I always in V1, I always tried to use functions if there was an option that was a function because it allowed me to do multiple things in one line if I wanted to. And I didn't have to, but sometimes I just wanted to. And in here, everything V2 is a function. Um, so you right. can do that. That is right. All right. So like the video if you learned something, it really helps us out. Don't forget, like I said, we release two videos a week on Auto Hotkey, if not more. We also have live Friday calls where we help people just join the call and we can help you share your screen and get help or consider joining the hero group where we all work together helping each other. So thank you so much. Cheers.